for the people that do it. I mean, do it for real though. Would you do it for love? Yeah. Could've left a long time ago Fuck it, where I'ma go? A brother back in the house Couldn't let Obama go Do it cause you love a nigga Advice for my mama go Those who just follow green They the first kind of go Being broke ain't a joke I'm too comical Seven digits, nigga Two commas, ho Make your first million And don't make it your last Don't come if you ain't ready Don't try to make it too fast can't learn shit if you never make it to class You can't just recycle what should be placed in the trash I started wanting more money and a Stacey Dash A car that costs a house and a place to crash Pull a hammer like a camera, you don't wanna face the flash Cause you lose one of your sons and it's no replacing Nash Let the faces you show be the same faces you stash It's more where that came from, y'all know where I came from It's all about that boy that called me Poppy so I'ma keep making that paper, copy These squares can never stop me, y'all triangles to play me Two lines for you fuck boys, pause that, now play me Right from where I left off, let's get back to that real shit That sit back, just chill shit, whip packs that I kill shit I chit chat about trill shit, spit that how I feel shit I give you four bars and be a kid cat or some real shit Who fucking with me, I mean besides your bitch I Debo your hoe, you niggas should hide your bitch Like the chain reds grandmama gave him I got a thing for women, I like like a misbehaving, like that. You know, like bad, Mike bad. So I'ma check him when I see him, like ad. Cause in this life, things come and go like fads. And I'm not one who favors using words like had. I'm in the having shit, turning dreams to average shit. Bringing your trophy to the club, Dallas Mavericks shit. Nice. I came from first of the month money, yeah. To waking up whenever I want money. Nice. I chase paper, I hunt money Make 50 racks at 3 p.m. and call it lunch money nice. Nigga, your stunt money is blunt money Your boo only got a text back once from me And that was what the fuck you want from me <laughs> But I know what the fuck she want from me Yeah, 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 yeah You ain't got a front for me, I know I know what you want from me, I know I know we all want the money, only right you get into it Question I come to you with Is would you do it for the love? 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 Or would you do it for the love? 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 Or would you do it for the love? Welcome to the Rich Hitter Project. We are back for another episode. I'm going to try to make this in as quick as possible. Welcome, welcome, welcome for the next installment in the Goku the Wildfire. In the last episodes, in episodes previous, we talked about a lot of important things. Now, we're going to finish off this list as far as the person who is the most tangibly important in Goku's life. Um, I'm not sure how much emotional value this person gave, but we'll get into all that. But definitely the most important tangible person in all of Goku's whole existence <laughs> is, and you probably guessed it, no other than King Kai. King Kai. The, it's King for a reason. <laughs> um, King Kai is crucial in the success of Goku going going forward after Raditz, obviously, but it's even it's, it's a little bit more deeper than that. The K.O. Ken is see like it's perfectly suited for Goku. And like um King Kai said, it's kinda of like the wild horse that nobody could tame, that nobody could ride. And he didn't even teach it to Yamcha, Piccolo or <laughs> or, or Tien. So it's Goku just, you know, cracked that code. But the K.O. Ken was the ultimate gift from from King Kai. I mean, as a, not even just that. I mean, there was a few gifts. I think that was the best gifts. But the, I think you know he got exposure to the training, to 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 you know the uh, gravity training and different applications as far as speed and key energy manipulation. Here's the thing: even though the spirit bomb is trash. I believe that Goku is the greatest force user, the, the greatest conscious force user in the whole series. That being the case, I think the training with King Kai only amplified that connection. I mean, 
it's just as far as you know when you, when you start hearing Goku talk about and just, when you hear Goku and King Kai talk about the KO can and then you, what you hear about with King Kai says about the spirit bomb it only it only makes sense to follow that all the the the, the theory and the training in that is what is 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 really sharpening Goku's Keyblade, you know, as far as not Keyblade, sorry, not King not the Kingdom Hearts, but the Ki Blade, you know, is his Key Energy connection. <laughs> it, I think you know, because given the vast amount of Key in the potentially pure amount of Key <laughs> that you get when you do it when you're doing this the Spirit Bomb, I think that only enhances Goku's understanding. In sensitivity to key energy, and that only helps him going further. That mean I'm sure that I'm sure if we want to look at it that way. That powered up the Kamehameha. It powered up, you know, pretty much everything, you know. But but namely the Kamehameha, and then the Kao Can. On top of that, Goku became pretty much unstoppable after this training. I mean, there's no turning back after this training. Obviously, Goku takes it and runs with it, and takes it to the next level. As we um as we talked about. But without this training, the KO, the the, the training without the K, without King Kai's training, the training in the capsule wouldn't be anything. <laughs> you know, Goku wouldn't have made it all that training alive, or it wouldn't have been nearly as effective stepping off. Goku, even though that the, the electric storm really helped, um, who's to say Goku would have had the time? Let's say Goku didn't have the confidence. Let's say Goku did have the confidence to go to level hundred eventually. But who to say Goku had the time or the or the vitality to survive that? And when that happens, you know Goku's in the in the throw of it, you know, and he's about to kill over for the ultimate time in the series at, at a very unfortunate time. But it's the what he learned from King Kai that really that really kept him alive and really was able to propel and, and at the same time propel him to these to these great heights. Obviously Goku takes the the KO Ken training and runs with it, but if without the KO Ken training, without the KO Ken training to begin with, Goku 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 platforms. I mean not platforms, he plat he plateaus. Sorry, he plateaus and, and, and then he 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 doesn't go upward from from Raditz. You know, it's the King Kyle training was such a push in the right direction, and it just really, it just really set up the framework for something for something even more spectacular to happen with Goku with his ideation and his will and his drive. You know, it's just it's just set up uh, uh, just for a lot more to happen. And the capsule training was was that you know capsule training was Goku's independent study. You know, of all the things that he's learned up until this time, including the Ko Ken technique. When Goku walks off the capsule, he has his mastery of the Ko Ken technique. You know, he goes to twenty times. I think he went only went to like three times against Vegeta, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it wasn't anything higher than four, but obviously, so twenty is more than four, right? And so it's lit. It's legit. Um, shout out to King Kai. Um, without 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 King Kai stepping in, being the father figure of one thing. But also the ultimate uh, Goku's ultimate master, uh, you know, and gave and gave him the Ko Ken and the Spirit Bomb, and, and even if, even if the Spirit Bomb and in this actual effectiveness is, is is trash, I think the training of the Spirit Bomb, you know, the training of how to use the Spirit Bomb, perhaps really really helped Goku go forward in in, in ways we can't imagine, and obviously the Ko Ken training did that as well, but. Um, you know, I know, and I don't know how much, what's it, how much, you know, key energy, it, the, the K.O. Ken technique is very, very interesting, because, you know, when they break it down, you know, they say, you know, Goku fills himself with all kind of, like, all kind of matter, and if he takes in too much matter, his body will explode, <laughs> or something like that, so it's, Goku's dealing with a lot when it comes to, when it comes to handling all that and he he makes it through he makes it through you know uh, obviously King Kyle also says that you know there's a but there's a small I mean a, a, a large window of error or for the 
not even just the KO camp, but the Spirit Bomb as well. So, and, and, and Goku, Goku wins again, but that just it, but it succeeds, but not even succeeds, succeeds overwhelmingly in the application of, of all those things. And so, whoever says Goku is dumb, you're dumb. <laughs> you know, Goku, Goku deals with stuff on a whole different, not even also on a natural level, but then he can he he can jump all the way up and deal with things on a he can bring that natural understanding to very complicated in celestial functions. So shout out to Goku, and again, also the number one tangible person in all of Goku's life. Um, Kinkai. Kinkai and you know, and they had fun up there. They had fun up there. That was the one thing too. Kinkai really is, is was just different as far as his and who knows what actually his what that training regiment was like. Kinkai says training with him nonstop on that planet for a year was the same as or not not even under year. Goku learned all that stuff in under a year. And Goku made it Goku made it through Snake Way in under a year. That's ridiculous. Ten thousand miles, uh, jogging. He jogged ten, jog, jog, and flew ten thousand miles in under a year. That's crazy. Um, if and who knows, who knows what all the all the other training aspects of that was. We only saw so much of that. Obviously, we saw the big stuff. We saw bubbles. We saw Gregory. We saw the Ko Can briefly, and we saw the Spirit Bomb briefly. I don't. We didn't get to see what all else. King Kai had cooked up, and King Kai seems like he's pretty strong himself. So Goku just says, "Goku." By the time Goku was at in the castle, he has this this vast amount of knowledge, and he quilts it all together, and he and he independent studies, and and then again we have this crazy ass superhero at that point, and that's all credit to the King Kai. That's uh, uh, that's all. A lot of his credit to the King Kai. A lot of his credit to the King Kai. So shout out to King Kai, and um, yeah, a short one. A short one. I mean, there's really nothing but more else to say. We got a lot more to say. So um, take care of yourselves. The Royal Cheetah Project. Um, subscribe if you haven't, and then we will see you next time. Um, Team Rosary all day. You know what it is. And then um, check us out on the Mio. Hit me up on Twitter. Again, subscribe uh, for the podcast on iTunes. Subscribe here if you haven't. And then we'll see you next time. Team Level Up. Shout out to um, King Level Up. <laughs> the the master and the apprentice. You know, so it's how about that. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.